we know there's a big vote in the Senate um, later on COVID passes. Um, you'll be voting against this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, personally, I, I, I'm not a fan um, of, of COVID passes. I'm not sure it's the right sort of precedent to be set in terms of medical records being shared um, so so broadly. So that's where, where I stand on it, Claire. And um, we're looking forward to the to the debate later on today. What would you say though to, to people like Laura, who I spoke to um, earlier on the program, who has ME, so so vulnerable to COVID, and and just saying from her point of view, it would make her feel comfortable um, just to know that that she's out and about with other vaccinated people. It would make her feel safe give her her freedom back yeah you know, i really really sympathize um with with people as, as you described where you know it, it can be a real worry um at, at the moment um, but i think there are really challenges as to how um the the covid passes as proposed would would work the administration of a tour then be open to potential um fraud and, and abuse uh, I just don't think it's the right move uh, for us um, at, at the moment. And Welsh Labour just need one other MS from from another party to, to back them if this is going to get through. Do, do you think they'll get it? I, I don't know, Claire. Um, we will look forward to, to the debate later on today. Of course, there is, and um, there are other parties involved here with Plaid Cymru and the single uh, Liberal Democrat in, in the Welsh Welsh Parliament here. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a lively discussion this afternoon and I'm sure many people will be looking forward to the outcome.